I think it would have been uh, extremely exciting. I know growing up in Southern Ontario, uh, you had Leafs fans and then you had some uh, some of your friends at school, their parents would be Habs fans. So it was it was kind of interesting, the Canadian rivalries uh, that you'd see. And then, you know, you'd see the Canucks games and Oilers games and uh, Flames games later at night. So I think it, uh, for me, it's, it, it would have been like a dream come true to see all the Canadian teams play against each other. So um, having the opportunity to play in this division, a lot of those same same feelings come back and uh, it'll f be fun to play against uh, you know, a lot of my friends' favorite uh, childhood teams. And um, I think some of them still root for those teams. So uh, puts a little extra, a little extra jam on it. Next question, Jason Greger, TSN 12-6. Well, Darnell, I see you got the jersey matching Yamamoto's. Uh, he said there's no wagers yet. Is that going to change? Uh, I know Yamo. Yamo doesn't like to uh, pay for dinners or anything like that. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure he would put anything on it. <laughs> you played in that tournament. Obviously, you know, it's, it's super exciting. But um, focusing back to your team and just, you know, you specifically kind of where your game has gone the last few seasons. And, you know, you, you've really emerged as, a, as an offensive productive defenseman, five on five. Where, you know, Darnell, I mean, Connor and Leon have all talked about your whole team has to improve defensively. You as an individual, how can you do that? What do you hope to improve on in the D zone that will help the whole team's goals against go down? Yeah, I think a lot of it just comes to, uh, as, as a defenseman, like looking at my game, just winning, winning as many battles one-on-one -on -one as I can. Uh, the more one-on-one -on -one battles that you can win, I mean, you know, you, you stifle the the offense in the corners, or I want to try and make plays to the net. Um, it, it leads to break, especially with our team. As soon as you break up a play and, and get the puck to to a centerman or to a winger, it seems like, you know, we're, we're a team that's able to capitalize on the rush or at least get chances on the rush. So, uh, personally, just being able to uh, you know be a harder defender to to play against and winning winning more battles, taking away. Uh, if there's two on one taking away those those lanes, um, I think that'll translate to uh, you know playing the other way for us. Next question, Jermaine Franklin, TSN. Um, I guess my my question for you is uh, about Clef Well, I'm sorry if you've been asked this in the last few days, but uh, with him uh, not being around, what does that mean uh, for for you and the entire core in, in the effort of filling his void. Yeah, obviously, Clef's a really good player. He's been a, a good player in this league for a while. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's definitely a void. I think as a as a decor and as a group, uh, everyone's excited about uh, this season coming up. And obviously, when uh, when you lose a guy going into camp, there's nothing there's nothing fun about it, especially a guy um, as good as he is. But um, we you know we're we're excited to play. We're excited to to get this season going. And I think uh, you know a lot of his uh, a lot of things he does, we're going to need to pick up a little bit by uh, by committee, but um, each guy can be better. And I think it's uh, it's definitely a challenge that we're all looking forward to, to taking on. Is there anything in particular that uh, that you that you want to improve on this year, or you want to focus on coming into the season? No, I think as a as a as a player, each and every year, there's different things you want to improve on. Uh, a big part of our game is trying to cut down goals again. So. Uh, like I said, I've just talked about it uh, a little bit um, to to be able to you know, win my battles and you know consistently each and every night that'll be uh, that'll lead to less goals again. So that's uh, that's the part that uh, I want to continue to clean up. Next question, Tony Barrar, Oilers TV. Darnell, in terms of uh, the wager with Yamamoto, you said he doesn't like paying for dinner. Does that imply that if you guys were to make a bet, he would be paying for dinner? I said what I said. <laughs> right on. Um, just wanted to uh, shift focus back on training camp and wanted to get your impressions on Yessi Poyarvi. Yeah, Yessi's looked great. Um, you know, he's he's huge. Like, you look out there, he's, one, he's the biggest guy on the ice. Um, has the hands to go with it, and you know, he uh, he wants to play a 200 foot game. I think he came back hungry to uh, to play a, a complete 200 foot game. And I mean, he's obviously he was drafted in the position that he was drafted in because of what uh, he could potentially become. And um, you see him out there; he's got all the tools and uh, the right attitude. So it's exciting, I think, for everyone to to see Jesse back. Next question: Quinn Phillips, Global News. 
Hi, Darnell. I just want to go back to the game tonight. Uh, just looking for your final score prediction and who gets the game winner. Ooh. Um, I'd say I'm going to go 3-1 Canada with uh, Cousins with the uh, the game winner. That's my, that's my uh, prediction.